Hello students, my name is Mr. McCarty. As you can see, I'm down here in the historic 18th and Vine District in front of the Gem Theater. Not really, but we're pretending. We're gonna to talk today about how to get on to Spelling City, which you will use for your spelling assignments and your vocabulary assignment. Here we go. I'm gonna share my screen. Here it is, being shared. Pow. Okay, so here it is. Let me move my little bald head there. Okay, so when you first look at Spelling City, and it'll often say Vocabulary Spelling City, you're gonna to go to that login right over here, this blue box right there, and you're gonna click on that. And that will bring you to this page right over here. Right? Are you a student or are you an educator? That's me, I'm the educator. You are the student, so you want to have this part over here checked, right? If you're over here trying to enter it, it won't work. Then, you're going to enter in your student name. I'm going to use Abigail Apple Yards. And that's just your, of course, your first name, your last initial, and then the last four of your student number. And then whatever you were assigned as your password. Here we go. This is mine. Of course, you've got a little view there, so you can see what it is right there, which I always find helpful when you sign in. Ta-da! It'll ask you want to save. You probably do. I'm not going to because Abby doesn't really exist. Okay, and so here you have your various assignments, right? And the, these other old assignments, don't worry, I'm not sure why it gives you those, but you've got a vocabulary assignment for week one, spelling games week one, and week one spelling test, right? For each one of these, you're going to click on it and complete them in the order that they go, right? On the spelling games, there's actually several fun games over here. I tend to put the fun games toward the back. And the first games over there have a lot of phonics exercises with the, uh, there. So if you're playing the first few games, you're like, whoa, just get through them and you'll get to the best one, okay? All right, so those are your two games. So there's syllables with silly bulls, rhyme and climb, sorted out on vowels, things like that. So whatever the lesson is, like the first week is short A and short E sounds, that's what you're gonna be studying about. Then you go to the week one spelling test. Now remember, you are in charge of your learning. You are in charge of your learning. So it's your goal to make sure that you can get an 85% on that test cold, right? Please don't do something else and get a test. Your job is to learn it. So here's a spelling teach me, which is just pretty rote. This is how you spell the words. Then there's a practice test, which is exactly like the regular test, and it will tell you what you got wrong when you're done, right? And then the spelling so make sure you, again, you're going to get that 85% or better. For the vocabulary, you have a very similar thing. There's a bunch of different games. The vocabulary one just goes ahead and ends with its test right there. So there's a practice test, and then there's the actual test. Once again, 85% or better. On the vocabulary list, I believe that means you can miss up to three and still get an 85% or better. Okay. Um, that's... That's about it. When you have taken your test, go ahead and turn in, right? If you get below 95%, especially if it's grievous, I may ask you to take the test again, just so you know. All right, so I'm going to now stop. You do well, have fun with the games, and I'll talk to you later.